In the heart of the formidable Himalayan mountains, a sinister presence lurks in the icy shroud. A creature of ancient malevolence known as the Skin Stalker slumbers in the shadows, its hunger for the unsuspecting townsfolk echoing through the snow-laden peaks. Recently, a town sent BBA a letter from the area telling BBA that the creature has haunted their shadows for weeks now, and that a perpetual blizzard has followed its demonic presence. BBA, knowing that he's the only one who can take the creature down, must rise to the challenge. The fate of the town hangs in the balance, as the relentless blizzard will only cease if the creature meets its demise. Armed with courage and determination, the protector embarks on a treacherous quest, navigating the frozen labyrinth to confront the skin stalker before its haunting song claims another victim. Man, I felt like Shakespeare saying all that. Thanks, chat GPT. Well, isn't this a great start? Okay, here we are. I'm in the... I'm in the Arctic. I also downloaded a mod, uh, a mod that makes me freeze to death if I don't get shelter immediately, so that's great. But anyway, the town should be just over there. Maybe the tree will keep me warm. Nope, never mind. Come on, we need to go. Go, go, go. Across the frozen river. I must make it to the town. I'm literally dying. It's right here. Spawn point. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, get wrecked. I'm too good. I am warm. I'm a warm boy. This is me being a warm boy. How am I not a warm boy yet? Excuse me. What part of this is not warm? You know, I'm taking all this stuff. This man just got evicted. Guess we'll live in here now. I'm hearing some goofy noises out here. Who's making all that ruckus? Huh? What's all the commotion about? So this is the town that sent me the, uh, letter. Doesn't look like a smart bunch of people, but I guess they're immune to freezing to death, so they've got that over me. How do you warm up in this forsaken place? I can hear the skin stalker. I feel like dying of cold is gonna, is gonna get me more than the skin stalker in this video. Dude, that skin stalker is so loud out there. Hey, I'm actually warming up. Alright, whatever. Okay, you just scared the absolute bejesus out of me, brother. What is wrong with you? Uh, and yoink, and yoink, and yoink. This iron golem has seen some things, man. Oh my god. I don't think I won't. Hey, this is my bed now, thanks. I know you were just jumping on that bed, but it's mine now. Nerd. Alright, I've got my warm space. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, leave. Yeah, leave. I came into this town to protect them, and you know what? I'm just stealing all their stuff. They called the wrong guy for this, alright? Bruh. Sincerely just need to cook something. I don't know what it's gonna be. I can't even get out of my own house. This is a rough start. I think this is the roughest start we've ever had. Why is this not working? Since when? Oh, because it's a stripped spruce log. Oh, I didn't know we were picky. Oh, I didn't know we were picky. Oh, my bad. My bad. I didn't know Minecraft was so snotty about the type of log that I bake. My, my bad. What? Since when? Since when does this not work? Hey, future BBA coming in with a little divine intervention here. Basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, make this furnace go big warm so that I can get big warm. Well, it turns out you can't actually make charcoal in a blast furnace, which past me didn't realize until 10 minutes later, so, uh... We're just gonna skip this part. Who are you? Someone call 911. There's an old man in my bed. Yeah, I'm a warm boy now. Check out that sick fire animation. After finding a temporary solution to my cold problem, I decided to, you know, actually play the video game and go get stuff. We're gonna go mining. That's that's the plan here. Oh, I'm glowing. I'm Jesus. You know, you think the townspeople could have at least provided me with, like, something? They could have been like, ah, hello, traveler. Welcome to our humble abode. May we interest you in some filet mignon? Check out how ominous it is down there. <laughs> oh. I've mined into God's living room. What is happening? Oh. Okay, apparently the matrix just glitched for a second there. No need to worry about it. The spooky, spooky ambiance. Can't handle it. My little monkey brain is just melting from the, the sheer... Ow. Spook factor. Why is there always a dude in my house every time I come up here? I mean, I guess this was technically their house first, but no. You know what? You get pushed into the basement. I don't even care. The skin stalker can have this guy. He's out there somewhere. I can smell him. Who are you? Ah, uh, that's what I thought. 
Okay, what can I craft with this? Pants. Alright, so you may be wondering why I'm just mining forever. Well, you see, I need to find lava. None of these dwellers are immune to lava. They all just they all just hiccup in the presence of it. And I also needed iron so that I could mine diamonds. And let me tell you, I spent an astronomical amount of time in the caves. Hopefully I mine into a giant lava network, that, that'll be a huge help. Not only can I bring lava to the surface to mess with the dweller with... You know, I think the dweller heard me say that and he was less than pleased. Is that Skulk? I found Skulk before I found the Skin Stalker. Are you kidding me? And new spooky ambiance has entered the chat. me then you think I'm scared of you you think I'm scared of you honestly I'm fine with that PvP me in my own my own territory goofball see what happens also it probably behoove me to grab a weapon just saying just saying a man like me does not want to be caught with his proverbial pants down that's not that's not what I'm about. In fact, I'm a huge advocate of keeping your pants on iron pickaxe. And now I can yoink those diamonds. They're mine now. And it was one diamond. I cannot do a single thing with that. Why? What is in this cave that is so loud? Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. Hmm. You know, I'm kind of hoping before I leave this place, I find enough iron to make a bucket and, and yoink some of this lava with me. I can't find a single sign of iron. Whoa, ho, ho, that was a little close for comfort. If a warden spawns, so be it. I, I, you know, I just don't really care at this point. And there's nothing even back here. You know what? Shut up. Shut your mouth. Out of my face. Oh, I hear him. Oh, I hear you, you silly- You silly little goof. You know, it's cool I'm finding all these lava patches, but there is like not a singular piece of iron and it is just- it is grinding my gears. Oh, brother. Just end me. I'll come back down here if I'm like really desperate for lava, but like right now this is just so not worth it. I have more chances of finding a girlfriend down here than I do iron. A singular piece. It's all I need. I... <laughs> of course, of course. Trying to knock him in the lava. Can I spleef him? Yes! This cave has nothing. I'm gone. And there's... Yet another dude in my bed. Alright, don't take that out of context. <laughs> Alright, um... I keep placing the god... Stop it. We're back in the wilderness, boys. Back at it again. Bro, I just want to explore the Himalayan wilderness, and I can't even do that. I can't even see what my health is. Bruh. I was... What? I was frozen to death by a creeper. Yes! Finally! And it's not even three, but I don't care. After exploring the cave for a while, I finally got everything I needed. And then this happened. There's nothing to be afraid of. Except for maybe that. That could be a slight problem. Glad we could come to an agreement. Oh. Okay. And then this. Yeah, fight each other, idiots. Darkness again. Whoa, what is that? Alright, good stuff, good stuff. We got our lava. We've got our minerals. And after hours of being cyberbullied by other weird creatures, I finally met him, the Skin Stalker. Nothing of interest is happening. This is really unfortunate. You know what? You can have the house. I don't even care. I hear footsteps. Oh, uh, maybe that thing. Oh! Oh hey, oh hey, oh hey, oh hey, oh hey. Lava. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. 
Well, that was interesting. And after BBA's relentless failures, he was feeling a little bit put down. But the townspeople reassured him that if he were to just climb the giant mountain right next to their town, he would feel better. And he thought it was hilarious that this sounded so stupid. Why would you do that? But since the skin stalker was gone for a long while, he figured that there was nothing better to do, so he just climbed up the mountain. The townspeople told me a little bit of lore. Apparently, if I climb the highest mountain, it might be this mountain. Uh, I get, I get secrets revealed to me, truths that I never knew possible before, revealed to my, my spirit. This is one tall mountain, my god. Secrets will be revealed. With the power of friendship, I can make it to the top of this mountain, oh my Jesus. Finally, after an arduous climb, BBA reached the summit. In that moment, the snow beneath BBA's feet transformed into a reflection of his own journey, the pristine whiteness represented by the purity of his intentions. The glistening surface mirrored the clarity he had gained, and the coldness embodied the resilience he had developed along the way. The snowy landscapes, whether rendered on a screen or spread out before him, became a living testament to the idea that the journey itself was the reward. It was in the perseverance through the virtual realms of Minecraft that one could unravel the mysteries within, discovering not only the intricacies of the game or the core of a summit, but more importantly, the depths of one's own character. I think that most people take video games for granted. Most view them as a waste of time. But this virtual journey has taught us that some gamers sometimes seek to conquer digital challenges, but also seek to face the complexities of life. The video game, much like the Summit of Snow, whispered the universal truth that perseverance, resilience, and determination are the keys to unlocking the extraordinary within ourselves. Well, that was a fun side quest. Anyway, bullying the skin stalker. Eureka! What was that? Oh. Oh my god, this is his house. Oh wow. Okay. Uh. Hey, don't mind me. Come and get me then. I'm dousing him directly in lava. This is a key part of the trolling process. Snowball. Yeah, I'm throwing snowballs at you now. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. I've got everything. I've got a bow and arrow too. Oh yeah, take that. Yeah, you're gonna die. He can't even do anything about it. He can't do a single thing about it. It's just coming for him. Oh, he left like a nerd. Like a nerd. An absolute idiot really razzled his dazzle, and he had no idea how to handle it. That's something I notice all these dwellers do constantly. They run away in fear like cowards. Okay, well apparently that didn't count as defeating him since perpetual winter is still here, so uh unfortunate, but I, I guess I guess I have to actually kill him for that to happen. This game is so picky about heat. I'm literally right next to the hottest substance on planet Earth, and it says I'm cold. This is peak logic right here. Why? Oh, and you're back now. Oh, uh. What, was he just baiting me? And after a little while more of waiting, I finally got him, boys. You know, this dweller has gotten less kills than nature has. That's the thing. Oh, hey. Boat. It's boat time. He doesn't fall for the boat trick. He doesn't fall for the boat trick. Get in the lava. Yeah, buddy. Oh, what now, nerd? Oh, what now? Nothing. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him, boys. Finally killed the goober. Hey, does that mean that this blizzard will... Does that mean this blizzard will disappear? Well, you know what? I'm going to sleep, and in the morning, that blizzard better be gone. I swear to God. Okay. Oh, oh, it cleared up. It did the thing. Yeah, I'm feeling cocky. Let's beat up the Cinderman. No, nope, okay. The sun. Yes, finally. This is the good stuff. Also, it turns out the skin stalker does not fall for the boat trick. He's a little smart for that one. Oh, well. He didn't run away like a freaking goofball, a little coward, a little little man-child, little nerd. Don't worry, this is a part of the trolling process, you just have to insult him a thousand times, get every adjective you can. Although there is one thing left to do. For your crimes against this country, I give you the death sentence. 
May God have mercy on your soul. May God have mercy. Ha, 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 ha. I'm out of here. And so BBA defeated the Skin Stalker. The eternal blizzard subsided, and the people in the town were eternally grateful. BBA, however, was sick and tired of the cold environment and immediately packed up and left, not dealing with it. You won't catch me dead in a tundra ever again. Get out of here. And I froze again.